Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, I wanted to share with you my Fluval Flex 15, which was modified to accommodate a saltwater reef ac tank aquarium, you could say. Uh, this tank is right now one month and a half old. Uh, all the parameters are just perfect so far, like ammonia, nitrates, carbon and everything is so far good. As you can see, I have a few corals here. I have Favia, Toadstool, Green Button in the center. I have Horn Coral at the very top. And I think it's pronounced Plasmacora on the right. More or less here. And <clears throat> a Green Star Polyp Coral. I also have a diamond goby, I have firefish, two clownfish, I have a skunk shrimp, which was just a second ago in the front. Whenever he sees me or she, she usually comes out, but when there's no food, she'll hide. So she's right there in the back. And I also have one snail. You can see it's here. So I had to modify this tank for salt water, the light that comes with the original like setup is not suitable for coral. So I bought a Fluval Marine 3.0, I believe it's called. And I had to modify the lid to accommodate the space for it. The filter is pretty much the same, except that I bought the uh, Skimmer C Mini from Fluval, which actually I think works great so far. And also I have upgraded the original pump. I think it's pronounced the Vivosan company. Everything is in the description if you want to take a look. It's a 400 gallon pump. Uh, to increase the water movement inside. As you can see, the toadstool is, I think, in a good current right now. I have a little bit of hair algae. It was worse before, but it was my mistake. On the left, I had a shrimp aquarium with no cardinas, and there was light pollution, and the entire left side of the tank was overgrown with hair algae, but right now it's under control, you could say, and also my snail has some food to eat. So let's take a look at this from closer. So this is the tank. This is the top. As you can see, I have modified the lid to make space for the full light. I love the light. I programmed everything on it and it works great. So in the back you can see a uh, Fluval C Mini working. I have temperature here, this is the side of the tank. That's how it looks. Oops, that's my... I use Ccam for everything. From time to time I adding a little bit of zooplankton and phytoplankton for my corals. And as you can see, I have other things like clarity, complete carbon stability. And also in the fridge, I have the uh, amino aminos for um, corals. Everything can find a link. Oh, there's the skunk cream right now. I love the shrimp. I was thinking about the fireblood shrimp, but everyone told me that they're more shy. This one is kind of funny. <laughs> That's my firefish. And the diamond gobi. This little guy actually jumped out a couple times from the aquarium when I was changing a couple things. Uh, 
My Zor has been lately closed. I don't know why. It's been open for like a month and last week it closed. I don't see anything barring it. I have a couple hermit crabs. Maybe they're doing something to it. And well, I moved that Pasmacora from the frog to the rock. As you can see, I didn't clean, cut it. <laughs> It kind of broke a little bit above the frag, so I put the frag in and see what's going to happen to it. Anyhow, I like how it's sitting there. It's just that I kind of maybe wasted the f a little bit of the coral, but well, so far everything lives. <laughs> That's the horn. Let me get a little bit focus better. What better focus on it? It grows really nice. So let me show you uh, the lights on it. Uh, let me just focus. And we turn off the main light here. And that's how it looks. And let me cycle through the now it's an auto. So when the fluval marine is an auto, it's a the bottom green uh, glows green right now it's off now it's white which means it's daylight and that's how it looks during the night unfortunately I don't have any orange lenses for my camera and uh, that's why you see the blue light like overwhelming the camera camera a little bit not a little bit kind of big time but I wish I had a something orange <laughs> But oh well, maybe in the future. And there's an auto. My diamond gobi was really busy. Dug out all the sand as you can see. Because it decided to move from under the big rocks, under the uh, green polyp star coral, which I have to from time to time clean from the sand. Because of course, well, <laughs> I think she preferred to be there instead of under the big rack. I don't know why. Oh well. Uh, so this is my thing. As I said, so far so good. I don't have any issues. Once a week, I change around like a gallon and a half, maybe of water. And once a week, I check all the parameters. And yep, thank you for watching. And once again, this is Firefish and Skunk Shrimp. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.